up guys uh, in this video i'm going to talk to you guys about the new pokemon masters ex purchase bundles for paid gems um now if you don't know what i'm talking about from today the 31st of october happy halloween by the way um pokemon masters released three new bundles and of, of purchase gems and i'm going to go through whether these are worth it and some tips on how to use them as well first of all before you purchase them, I highly recommend you don't do any of the daily activities first because we're talking about the battle points. So for example, um, in the battle rotations for the daily region rotation, this thing here, uh, let me just circle that so you guys know what I'm talking about. I've already done that. So that's a bad move for me. Before I purchase, the, uh, before I, purchase I should not have done that because the purchase, is, purchase itself for one of the bundles will give me um, bonus points for the battle points. The other one is the sync orbs. Uh, so this area here, you should save yourself. Don't do these just yet. You can see I haven't actually done the sync orb one um, before you purchase them because in the past I've made the mistake of buying the sync orb bundle and actually uh, it, it, it's supposed to give me a boost like a double amount of sync orbs for the day but because i already did the sync orb area the training area for the day it didn't give it to me for the first day so i lost a little bit of benefits from that um, i'm not sure if they've sort of fixed that issue uh, i'm not sure if that's going to be ever a fix but i would recommend that you don't do your battle points or sync orbs before you make purchases now these are highly highly good value bundles after the new player bundles if you've purchased these already and you're ready to actually spend a bit more money on this game these are really good and you can do these every 20 days so once it expires and the game will actually tell you how many you you've done now these are some previous bundles i've bought and you can see i've on i'm on seven days out of 20 or 12 days out of 20 um for them you have to log in every day for the bundle to be really worth it because the 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 game wants you to log in every day to to in order to maximize the benefits so now obviously the currency here is going to be different depending on the region but i'm going to use mine as an example uh, let's have a look at what it normally costs to buy gems uh, in my currency i would say it's approximately using just a regular monthly special approximately a dollar for 100 gems even at the best value even at the best value so let's say something like this one unless it's the anniversary master fair special uh generally a dollar slightly above slightly below depending on which package you buy um per 100 gems now if you have a look at the new bundles i'm just going to focus on the new bundles today you will see that uh what one thing to note, so I'm getting this pop-up message that most of you may not have this because I have a legacy bundle active right now. So that doesn't apply to most of you guys who didn't buy this one. Um, I believe this one's gone now because it actually somewhat clashes uh, with, uh, with the Daily Gem Bundle EX, this one here. So that's why I got that pop-up message. All, it, all it's saying is, yes, it clashes, but it will still offer me the entire uh, sync orbs I would normally get for the entire 20 days. So if you read that, it says, if you have a previous bundle active, I'll still get the 18,000 sync orbs um, that I would normally get for, for logging in 20 days st sent straight to my present box. Now, for about $4.50, immediately I get 1,000 paid gems. So that's really good value. Plus... An additional 2,000 paid gems if I log in every day. Now, these are paid gems. These are not non-paid gems. Now, I like to use them separately. I don't like to think of paid gems as the premium gem. Uh, they, sorry, they are kind of like premium gems, but I use them to pull different banners. The ones that I can use paid gems for, for example, uh, let me see if I can get one for you to show you. So, Alistair Seasonal Tiered Scout, the tiered paid scouts that, that, that take the paid gems and you can go all the way up to uh the fifth sort of tier and then you get this ticket for like a 25 percent chance of getting getting alistair 
or all the way to the end, then you'll get a 100% chance of getting an Alistair ticket. So I would actually use the paid gems for these types of banners or maybe the daily discounts, which I've already done for today, uh, as opposed to using the free gems, which is this here. So I'm not going to do that. I like to use my free gems for ones that don't have tiered scouts where I can guarantee with a paid um, gems. So for example, if I was really after Hilda and Victini, I would use the non-paid gems and take it to scout points, 400 out of 400. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can come ask me on Discord uh, for Victini. So I like to separate them um, when I use these gems. So it is it is really good value to be able to hold on to these uh, new paid gems. So let's go back to purchase bundles. Uh, so once again, ignore that pop-up. So 2,000 gems plus 1,000, so 3,000 gems for four dollars fifty now i'll tell you what there's a probably a very good reason why we're getting these gem bundles and i'm thinking i'm thinking that some countries are actually starting to consider or banning gacha games and this is in a way of a, a form of game pass uh, a, f a way for us to not so to transition to a game pass type of mechanic Really good value, but you're pretty much stuck on paying that amount of money every month, uh, as opposed to only paying when you want to, uh, when you want to be pulling. All right, so that's that's really good value because for four dollars fifty, I get what I would normally have to pay. Thirty dollars, so I save twenty five dollars. In the daily gem bundle ex plus, now you additionally get this move candy coin. You have to log in every day to get this, but that's really good. That, that pretty much guarantees you a candy, which you can increase the move level of a limited sync pair. For example, the Ash and Pikachu that we received recently. The yellow coin makes the yellow candy, which is uh, which uh, can upgrade any sync pair their move level. Again, if you're not, not too sure what I'm talking about, come to my Discord. I can help you out. I can explain it in more details. I'll leave a link in the description below. In addition, for the $30, not only do I get the 30 gems, I'll also get an additional $40 worth of 4,000 gems if I log in every day. So that saves me $40 compared to what I would normally pay. Just about. Just about $40. So that's really good as well. And this is, uh, so the, so this is the battle point boost pass this is the one i was saying you should you should buy this uh before you play your battle points your daily rotations for the day so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to buy it now to show you guys that and, and to see if they've actually fixed this issue but i'm guessing on the first days which is today when i buy the pass i will actually miss out on some battle points uh so let's give it a go i wonder if this would work for region uh for 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 events increased battle points that can be acquired from Region, region rotation battle events. Okay, so maybe not for the limited time events. Or let's let's try it out anyway. So I'm going to purchase it now. Now, I will just have it as a side note that in terms of paid gems, this is the worst value for out of all the bundles. Having said that, with the battle pass, if you finish your battle pass quicker, um, your BP points uh, tiers quicker, you will get the free limited, this is semi-limited, um, battle pass BP exclusive sync pairs quicker and there are quite a few of them so it's to me in an early stage it will be worth it if I'm a new player uh, look it, it's it's good to get battle BP sync pairs um, but they're not they're not like absolutely required uh, you can get a lot of free pairs in the game that are quite good as well and you, you if you're gonna spend money you know this this first bundle is really good value um, so I would probably start there for, for, for that amount of money. Like that's really good a number of paid gems. Um, but of course, the more you get, the better. <laughs> you, you can buy all the bundles if you want. And that's my plan. So I'm going to I'm gonna buy the bundle and bundle purchase complete. Let's see if I will get my battle point boost straight away. Nothing, no presents. Didn't say my battle points from today have doubled. So I guess I just wasted a day. I should have bought this on tomorrow before I do the battle rotations. You know what? It's only one day. It was worth testing it out. I thought maybe they would fix it. 
Uh, so, you know, they, I, I, I think that if they're going to make a purchase, if I'm going to make a purchase on a day that boosts the daily uh, rewards, I should get it even after I've already done the daily event. Anyway, back to purchasing all the other bundles. Let's see what we get out of that. All right, so the Gem Plus bundle has been purchased. It's taking my, taping, taking me back to the starting screen. And there it is. That's the daily login bonus. And I believe these are all paid gems. I better double check that. That's what I was told by the information. Is that not paid gems? Um, Hang on. Did I read that wrong? Nope, that's definitely paid gems. Maybe it just kind of looked like it was non-paid gems. Uh, what I'll do, I'll just, I'll just keep count of how many paid gems I have. 9450, so when I purchase this bundle, I should have 10450 plus 100, to, so 10550. So I'm going to buy that now. All right, it's taking me back to the Pokemon Center. And if I collect the 100 gems for the day... I should have I should have let me just claim it first let's check my gem count ten five five zero so it was paid gems. Uh, it wasn't too clear, but it was paid gem. So there you have it, guys. Uh, really good value. Probably amongst the best value since the new player special. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you're going to be spending money in this game, get these bundles, especially for new players. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave it in the comment section below. I, I do respond a lot quicker if you come to my Discord. I'll leave a link to my Discord uh, in the description below.